Well, I was looking for a place I could come in and play and a place I knew we, we could win. And I thought Temple offered both that, a place I could come in and help this team, you know, play a lot of minutes and also a chance to, to go to the NCAA tournament and win some games. What was your first impression of Philadelphia and Temple when you first came? I mean, I, it, it's a fun place. Uh, Philly's a lot like Boston. Um, you know, Temple's obviously a great basketball program, great tradition. And, uh, you know, I'm just really happy to be here for the season and, you know, start something and experience something new. Uh, well, the teammates are really opening, um, you know, especially to me coming in so late uh, and, you know, coming in here in September. It was, it was an adjustment for everybody. And I think they were really, they kind of, you know, welcomed me with open arms and I made my transition really easy. And what is your favorite part of Philadelphia so far, specifically, like, outside of basketball? Is there anything that, like, have you tried any, like, Philly cheese steaks or anything like that? But... yeah. yeah. Um, well, I grew up loving Rocky, and uh, seeing the Rocky statue over by the museum and the steps is pretty cool. Uh, so if I had to say, it would be the Rocky statue. Is there anything in specific that you really miss about Boston that they don't have here at Temple? Just being close to fa family and friends. Uh, growing up outside of Boston, I was so close all the time. It's just kind of having that there. It's, it's a little different being away from home. but. Um, so yeah, if I had to say anything, friends and family. Is there uh, a specific basketball player from your childhood that like made you want to be a basketball player, or was it kind of just something that you started? Not really. Growing up in Boston, it's uh, you know the Celtics have a rich history, and I always followed the Celtics. So you know the, some of the old-time players, even before you know my time, like Larry Bird, Bill Russell, those guys. You, know, you just hear about them all the time, and it just kind of got me into basketball and got me, you know, loving the game. So I'm sure there's some advantages, and there's probably a little bit of disadvantage with how tall you are. Because you are very, very tall. Yeah. Um, so what are some like disadvantages that you come across every day? Disadvantages of being tall? Uh, is this off the court? Yeah. Or, okay. Well, you know, finding clothes is pretty hard. Uh, actually, my bed in my my dorm room is not exactly suited for somebody my, my height. I actually just got a new one, which is bigger now, so that's good, but also doorways, you know, sometimes I get a duck, but other than that, it's not too bad. He may have grown up right outside of Boston, but Jake O'Brien is ready to make his mark in Philadelphia. Um, well, I want to help my team any way I can. Um, you know, I, I feel like I'll, I'll play a, a significant role on this team, whatever that may be. Um, you know, I'm sure Coach Dumpy's going to expect me to defend and rebound like all coaches, but I know uh, my offensive abilities will definitely help the team. The game will be almost two years since I played last, so just getting out there in the, in the first game will be really, really special for me. He's obviously a talented guy, but that's not, that's not the only thing that helps. It's just he's a good human being, and he'll fit right in. He'll understand what his role is, whether that's playing 40 minutes or playing 20 minutes, and he's going to play somewhere in between of those probably, but it will have a significant impact as, as to what we're doing. I'd like to play as long as I can, um, you know, hopefully professionally somewhere, whether that be in the States or overseas. Um, you know, I'm not ready to, to get a nine to five job just yet, so I'd like to, to play for a few years and, you know, hopefully finish my degree along the way and then, uh, you know, take it from there.